Hey, Shalom, double honors to the apostles of GMS, honors to brothers who will be pushing this truth in sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth. Alright, it's going to be a short video um, based on this article I've just found and I got up here um, about you know, the recent so called attacks that you had out there, which you know may lead and hopefully will lead to the martial law. Alright, which is going to get us out of this hellhole that we're in right now, man. And, um, and pretty much, man, alright. You can see, you know, pieces being put together that uh, ultimately are going to lead to what we know as new, you know, the World War, World War, World, uh, World War Three, and what the elites are going to and are, are trying to do is, you know, put together that um that new new world order, man. All right. Now I don't know about the validity of this article. I have found some articles on this um this this uh. Before it's news site, sometimes you got to pick the bones out of it. So I'm just gonna read it for And If it happens that the information is correct, then you're gonna see some some um, over startling information about um, what happened out there on um, as as you know as you know, with this attack of which man really they they um, had it to where they 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 could have indicated this attack in that movie with um, with Batman. You know the rise, you know, the rise of the Dark Knight, or something like that. The one with Bane and that, where they, where they had it to where they had an attack by the mercenaries, American mercenaries. They were, all right. Um, but um, but they had attack in in, in this in the stadium and all of that. All right now, obviously, it wasn't in Paris and it was a football game, so you got some differences in there. But whether one can assume um, that 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 was an indicator of things that was going to happen. It's entirely possible, man. It's entirely plausible, all right. But you know, as as to the intentions of what they're gonna do with this, is it's not entirely clear yet. But we know they they could be, from from what how um, Obama took it, and certainly the, the the president of France said, man, it went straight into a state of a uh, war with Syria, and we know who already is in Syria. It's the Russians, okay. So without much further ado, I'm gonna just read a little bit of it. Um, and point to the to the to the points that he he um he, he makes all right so he says what uh Paris attack reported on Wikipedia and Twitter before it happened and he's gonna go into the fact that you know with the 9/11 thing you had some reports already coming out way before you had them um you know way before it was actually uh, um put out there all right and that's one of the things that they they did this particular individual noticed about the um the um the so-called Paris attacks, man, and 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 also what comes to mind is how how fast Obama, right, was quick to go and um, make his statement, right, and also how quick they went into a state of war before, a uh, you know, with with Syria before assessing the full situation, man. All right, so it says the official narrative around the Paris false flag terror attack is falling apart faster than the twin towers fell on 9/11. It says as always, everything about the fabricated false flag operation is highly suspect. The speed with which the French president Francisco Hollande declared war on ISIS, which is what I've just pointed out a second ago, right, without even having all the facts of the case, much less very verified, right, is both alarming and quite suspicious. So, you know, you got it to where, uh, you know, you got Jake out there in the different parts of the world, all right, and they go on trial, all right, and their trial can take 10 years, all right. Before they before 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 they found guilty, hell, you get certain Jake star have been put in prison for, you know, 10, 20 years, 30 years, all right, and it turns out that they even do the crime or anything like that. Why? Because Esau's the wicked. But see, when they want to pull off an agenda, all right, it's it's amazing how fast they can put the the information together to achieve their own goal. Man. But what has to um remember is is France is part of of of, um, of NATO. Okay, so. A war against France is war against NATO because that's why it's called the North, North North Atlantic Treaty Organization. It's a treaty of all of those different countries, right, associated with one another, to the purpose of protecting one another. And how much more protection do they need in in, in, in a time of um uh rather more in a state of emergency like just like you have seen, right, with this thing that's popping off out here, man. All right, so you don't be surprised. If you had it to where certain countries are going to be back in France, in in whatever you know whatever they're doing out there in um 
in, in, in Syria in, in, in response to this, right, which will ultimately have it to where they'll be going up against the Russians, man, all right, see, this all comes after you had it to where, you know, President Vladimir Putin out there in Russia had been, had been eliminating them so-called targets out there in, in, in Syria, man, right, because you wouldn't have had this, you probably wouldn't have had something like this pop off um, if, if Vladimir Putin hadn't gone up in there, all right, Right, eliminating something like 280 targets in one day. So, w what you're seeing is is desperacy. Possibly is desperacy, right? And and part of the proof that is desperacy is the narrative, right, with which these different presidents in these different countries came with, right, as a direct result of that thing come popping off, all right? It says without even having all the facts, the case much less verified is both alarming and quite suspicious. It says France, um, Paris. It says France uses uh, Paris 9/11 as a false flag to pretext to unlawfully enter, uh, unlawfully enter a Syrian theater of war because it is a th it's, it's all a big theater, man. All right. It says, um, um, now there's allegations that they that a report appeared on on both Wikipedia and Twitter before the attacks took place. All right. Like I said, I don't know the validity of that, but see. Well, you know, with a, with a lot of this information, when you when you find it, all right. If someone could say something, a statement about that, as as as, as a so-called tragic of an event as it was, then you probably know that there's some kind of truth to it, all right. It says similar things have happened in other false flag op operations, as the live BBC tele uh, televised the report of building hash um, number seven falling down. On 9/11 before it actually occurred, so you had it. You had it. That was, you know, they, they, you can, you can find videos like that on YouTube, yeah, all right, all right. Although, you know, they, they might have taken it down over time, but that, you know, I remember seeing videos about that, uh, that 9/11 thing, and and you put, you, you pretty much saw, um, you pretty much had it to where, um, the BBC, the so-called British Broadcast um, Television uh, Center, and that they reported. The twin towers falling down way before you know a, a considerable amount of time before the event actually took place. All right, and you see, see when you know when you when, when Esau does these false flags, man, right? He hasn't got it down to a T like that because really the most side does that. So so these events can be manifested before the people. That's why the scripture says, "I shall pull thy skirts up onto thy head." All right, so the most side is revealing Esau and his wickedness. All right. Onto all of these different nations, all right? It says it almost it almost makes you wonder about whether these kind of purposeful, obvious blunders are part of the mind uh, banging um, psyop, all right? In other words, um, it makes you think, right? Because it's so sloppy, man. Because it pops off sloppy. Is is are, are the elites that desperate? Or are they are they actually leaving these things purposefully so you can have some kind of internet buzz whilst they actually do some 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 even more some even more wickedness right and, and that, that that would be something that you know is a double bluff all right so so you get the false flag right then they leave you the egg trails to make you believe that the false flag was a false flag and it was a false flag so you believe that but really they could have been doing something else underneath all of that right Whilst you're entertained by the buzz of you finding out it was a false flag when they would because they allowed you to find out it was a false flag. So you don't know what you know really we don't know what the you know the elite's intentions are, but we know their intentions ultimately are to achieve that new world order. Alright? So whether it's a double buff or, or whatever, or whether they're just getting sloppy and you know, because it's the end times they're getting desperate. Alright? They're just having it to you know to work on a faster so called time 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 space, man. You go into Revelations of 12 type, so it talks about that, all right? About how the Esau is going to come down having great wrath. All right, it says, let's face it, it's been uh, working quite well. Let me read that paragraph again. It says, as a, a mind banging um, psyop, right, that, we will, uh, that will set the internet abuzz with endless cons conspiratorial right, speculation. Let's face it, it's been working quite well for them, right? Yes, all right, so. Pretty much, you know, I don't. I'm not gonna go into the rest of that. You can read that for yourself. So, he goes into the evidence of how um, certain things was presented in a certain time before. All right, you know, you know the way you just take it, you know, take it for what it is, and that's, you know, that's so-called uh, Twitter feed. 
all right you know death toll of Paris terror attacks rises to 180 and you got the time time code in that and, and so on and so forth so some of this you know I didn't even you know I didn't even get to re I didn't even really need to read all of, all of the rest of it because the point is really made in in the top ver in the top I almost said first day in the top part of the paragraph all right so pretty much with that you know you're seeing this you know this man one getting sloppy one getting desperate all right and um the more size revealing unto unto us um, as to what's you know as to uh, Esau's intentions, man, as to what he's gonna be, you know, what, what he's trying to pop off. You, you know what? That's a beautiful thing, man. So with that, I must say double honesty, apostles of GMS, honesty, brothers that be pushing this truth in sincerity. Shalom.